I read all your comments. I'd like to reply to all of them, but frankly, I, I, got, I got work to do. But some of them are so outstandingly wrong, I'm afraid it's infecting the pool. Anthony, regarding the monster ram, the bank's monster ram, writes, it does nothing. The head is the major restriction. Ah, uh, okay. And then we've got Casey, who appears to be leg humping Anthony. I guess people don't get it. Okay. To which Anthony replies, stock intake horn outflows the stock head. How do these guys know this stuff? And my last one here is Travis. The head on a Cummins won't even flow 250 CFM. The stock horn is well over that CFM. So even if you change, the added CFM means nothing. The head can't flow more than the stock horn will allow. Look it up or ask a mechanic. Okay, here's a mechanic right here. First of all, the stock Cummins displaces or pumps 331 CFM at 2800 RPM, which is the horsepower peak. You performance guys are probably spinning the engine a little faster, somewhere in the neighborhood of 3,400 RPM or more. And with enough turbo, you can easily flow more than 1,000 CFM. So how do I know that? The flow bench. Now the flow bench isn't a turbo, but you'll get the idea. Flowing through a Banks Monster Ram, the stock head flowed 750 CFM which is not the limit of our monster ram or the cylinder head. It's the limit of the flow bench. While the head is a restriction, it's not the restriction. If it were, upgrading your turbo or intake elbow would have no effect. But they do. Myth busted.